heard yeah. this song. That's by uh, yeah. a band called the Eagles. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That, I like the the words to it. Yeah. Good no, words. I yeah. never heard of it. Yeah, that's neat. They, they wrote a lot. I, they're one of those very few groups that there's nothing they did that I think is bad. Oh yeah. There's right. stuff that's better, but there's nothing that's like I can't. But a lot of groups, you know, they have at least one or two songs that just aren't yeah. that great. Yeah, right. Yeah. Not them. Everything they do is just. Mm-hmm. Um, do you remember Les Paul and Mary Ford? They they were a team that were real popular back in the fifties. A man and wife, and they were good. I. I don't exactly, it seemed like they played guitar or something, I used to hear Les that Paul is probably one of the most famous names in rock and roll guitar in right? history. Oh, you yes. would well know about Yes, yes, guitar. because he's yeah. got guitars named after him. Uh, yeah. Is that right? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah very good ones, yeah, yeah. he's a, an icon, icon yeah. name in guitars. Yeah. Okay. yeah, right when TV was coming in, too, I remember that, though, I do remember that guy. Yep, and I don't know any of his music. I mean, I probably <laughs> do, I just don't know it. It's okay. Maybe you're attracted to different stuff when he was attracted to it, you know. suggestion John I'm trying to learn the song Twilight Time oh that's a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes it is and as soon as I heard it it's like oh yeah I remember that vaguely but the problem is it's very similar to a song called um, uh, happy birthday sweet 16 I it's the, the melody is, is the same and Murray, oh. and Murray. she got me a I, I think she she got to say a Disc of uh, Anne Murray. Boy, she see the night. Oh, it was magic. Oh, I on. love Anne Murray. You know what Anne Murray does good? Christmas carols. Yeah. Have oh, you yeah. ever heard any of her Christmas carols? No, but they have. Good. That's another disc that they do have for sale. In, CD. Um, yeah. I've seen it. Well, yeah. you know, it's interesting because Don was talking about liking Anne Murray. We're in the car. Wes is driving, and Trisha, as all of a sudden, he he was m- mentioning Anne Murray. So Trisha quietly 
she downloaded something on her phone and it went through to the... It was like a miracle. Me, and, he, and he thought a miracle had happened because all of a sudden he's hearing all that. Oh, that technology just yeah. blows the my reason, mind. Yeah. The reason I hold that there, with it. When, she, when she was, when Esther was carrying her, you know, yeah, um, that was a popular song. Uh, a tiny... Oh, spread your tiny wings and fly We're away. going to do yeah. that song. I, oh, I, yeah. I know the yeah. song, but I don't know all the words. And this morning I looked up the words. Did and she, she's a Canadian, no, Nova Scotia, I remember. Yes, that's yeah. right. Oh, yes, fascinating. I wish she'd... Come, I wish she'd come to town sometime and sing. I wish I'd invite her or something. I, I saw her come. on TV the other day doing, really? a, doing some kind oh, of a special. She? She, in her 60s. Oh, that's not bad. And, that's and she, she, she was singing Snowbird. Okay. There and doing go. a pretty dang good job at it. Yeah. Oh, she, man, she's good. You know, that's neat. I'm glad to hear that she's still going. Yes, music is one of those things you can keep with you. And Mel Torme did... Um, have yourself a yeah. merry little Christmas. Oh, yeah. I remember he him. played, he sang that on TV when he was 88 years old. <laughs> and he hit the high note at the end, clear as a bell. It's like, yeah. wow, I hope I can do that when I'm in my 80s. Yeah. You know? Good yeah. Lord. Amazing. I'm struggling at 60. <laughs> well, you'll probably, you'll probably make it. I can tell you that an alcoholic, you don't you don't smoke a lot either. You're not no, a I don't smoke. No, I don't smoke. No, I don't smoke. No. That's good. That'll, boring. No. That'll get yeah, yeah, I'm, pretty, that I'm G rated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm no fun. You're not baking out your lungs right like some of these guys. No, but I did yeah. for a lot of years. Uh, I smoked for a lot of years. You know, I started out smoking when I was in my early 20s. Up and up and, uh, but uh, I, I got. I, I was always a very tidy person. I couldn't stand all the yellow film on the on our car and everything, you know. And, it, it, it was too messy. I didn't like having to fool with the ashes, you know. It, so I gave up, I gave up for those reasons. But actually, I, I didn't realize at that time people didn't think it was so harmful to your health. You oh know? no, no, you no. Know, in fact, in the military, they used to yeah, we used to sign pass out cigarettes to new guys who wanted them in the military. Yeah, that's right. they were issued. They were issued yeah. with equipment. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, my dad in 1964 switched to menthol cigarettes because the doctor actually told him they would be good for him. Uh -huh. Oh, gee. That the menthol in the cigarettes would help to clear out his lungs. It's like, <laughs> yeah. that we were so misinformed. They really yeah. did not understand no. really mm -hmm. how devastating yeah. it is. Yeah, cancer, that takes on a life of its own. Life. Yeah, the C word does. Yes, oh, it man. does. All right, let me see if I can do this. All right. <laughs> I know you can.
Now, what's the one that sounds like that? Do you know that? Is that something? Yes. Um, it sounds, the melody falls and it's similar, and I slide into it, and that's oh, the problem. Yeah. <laughs>
I mean, do snowboard. Yeah, I'd love to have you, you get the meter, man. You, you deserve the meter. Meeks, I would, I would like to sit down and play music with that woman for about eight years. Would you like? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't blame <laughs> it. Yeah, and you'll be sixty-eight. Very sure. Well, she might be single too. Who knows? We don't know. That's probably right, not. Yeah. Probably not. Those Canadians are all loyalists. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, Snowbird, in writing out the words to this this morning, it's a very upbeat song, but the words are not upbeat. They are not... Yeah, right. They, it's a away, sad yeah. song. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because the bird's flying away, you know. He, he um, your... <laughs> the breeze along the river seems to say that he'll only break my heart again should I decide oh, to stay. Yeah. Yeah. The word, so, sad. little Snowbird, take... Take me with you when you go to the land of gentle breezes where the peaceful waters flow. It's a breakup song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't but know that. Music, I didn't yeah, I, I, I didn't know the words. <laughs> Beautiful writing of the guy is whoever wrote the words for that. Gene McLaren. <laughs> yes, I always credit whoever yeah. wrote, not who sang. A lot of people yeah. sing it, but only one right writes. Yeah. Writing is where the real challenge is, I think. I mean, yes, singing, but, you know, writing is hard. It's not, it's Fun, but yeah. it's hard. Yeah, even fun. Yeah, that beautiful wording. Obviously, somebody dumped him. Or, you know, it's G E N E, the male G, not G E A N. Yeah. And the words in here are um, uh, that he'll only break my heart again should I decide to stay. She is. <laughs> yeah, but it might have been she'll and yeah. Anne just changed the oh, words so it was for girls. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I mean, anymore, I don't care. It was, <laughs> yeah. it's a, what if it's a girl? It doesn't matter, it's a word. So. <laughs> Let's try it. But this. the melody is nice. The it is, lovely. yeah, and the background instrumentation yeah. in, the, in the Anne's recording is very yeah. good, too. Orchestral. I just can yeah. hear it and know what they're doing. I well, don't need the, the music. Oh, well, you heard it? Did you listen? Uh, I've played the song before. Oh, I've okay. been off and on for years. But oh, I see. Sometimes, in part of musical education, uh, we learn about theory. Yeah. Right. About why the mathematics about. And once you understand theory, not I just say most, all, 
great number of the songs and simple ones like this, okay. you can hear it and you know what they're doing. Okay. You're thinking, oh yeah, this is a one four five progression in this the second okay. minor, right? Something like that. In that case, that's what this is. It's just common, common stuff. Yeah. Is that is a recording with the guitar? I don't recall. Uh, more orchestral. Okay. A lot of violins and, and oh, okay. stuff. Okay. Yeah. I'd have to re-listen to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, she's gonna have your. Oh, case she's you don't mind. She's it. curious. Oh, no. no, you see how the. Case is all ripped <laughs> yeah. up. And that was done by a goat. A goat? A goat. Yeah, I was at one of my guitars. I'm glad you didn't bring your goat along. <laughs> it wasn't my goat. It was Isabella's goat. Oh, wow. One of my guitar students. You know, I learned something about goats. They're like this cat. They're very curious. Here we go. And, you know, but they're something else, too. They're fine. I oh, like yes. them. They're kind of cute. They're little floppy ears. And, they, and their eyes aren't circular. They're not pupils. They're yeah. like. Rectangle. They right. have the weirdest looking eyes, don't yeah, they? they do. Yeah, yeah they have square. cool, cool looking <laughs> eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we were, and we were right. out on the bench in, in her yard, and they live on a, a horse ranch. And uh, it was just these wooden benches, and my guitar case is way over there, and we're playing and talking about lessons, and I hear this. <laughs> And I look over to go to jump up on the bench and was tearing the, the, oh my the, the covering off of my guitar case. <laughs> uh, they're, well, well, they're funny. I, so I, 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 I don't care. There's I, nothing you can do. I think it's funny. Oh, yeah. She, she's curious. She follows us all over the house. Always wants to know what you're doing. Climbs in every bag there is. And this, I was over at a friend's house playing. Oh, and one of her cats was, cats. yeah, sitting, in, and cats love sitting in guitar yes, cases. Yes. They love it. My she cat sits does in my knitting bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah my, my cat at home yeah. sits in my guitar case all the time, but her cat was <laughs> hungry, chewing up my music. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> They're something else, cats are. The animals, the animals are great. Yeah. yeah. They're innocent. Sometimes they just really tick you off, but you love them every time. Yeah, they're like kids. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's see. Well, oh, let's I don't know. School, grew up and become famous? No. Anybody you knew personally? I, I, know, I have uh, one of my classmates from high school is an operatic singer. Oh, she was out in yeah. California. Yeah. I don't ah. think she's that huh. recognizable, but yeah. Yeah, no, no, I, never yeah I, did, I didn't have anybody in my class. One person, one of my, one of my very best friends, is now the uh, head guy for the Drums Along the Rockies Drum and Bugle Corps. They're oh. world renowned. Oh, yeah. yeah that, he's he's like the head dude for them. That's good. Yeah, he's, that's yeah. neat stuff. Other than that, nobody. Yeah, well, just play it, right? <laughs> if you see me coming, never step aside. A lot of men give, a lot of men died. One fist of iron, the other is steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will load at 16 guns. And what do you get? A brother, the elder, and people in death. Say, you know, you call me, cause I won't go. Oh, 
Bitty Stone. <laughs> Ford. Yeah, he was popular in the 50s. I remember that. Uh, and uh, I remember uh, my brother, late brother in law, he mentioned that uh, he'd gone to high school. Bristol, Tennessee is where he, I think he went to high school. Of course, he was born and raised in Michigan, you know. He, but uh, mm. somewhere or other, he went to, he knew Ernie Ford, you know, so that's okay. <laughs> You know, of course, somebody else say, well, does that make me left-handed, you know? Yeah, right, whatever. Yeah, Ernie Ford, he was good. Ernie Ford was a good singer. Yeah, style. fun. He did fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was really, quite a really. guy. Yeah. Um, I looked at also the song Strawberry Roam. Oh, that's a neat song. Working yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, oh, it'll be, it's it's easy, it's just a lot of words. Oh, yeah. I know, Johnny, John, words. Johnny Horton, did he's the one that sang it? Johnny Horton, North to Alaska, remember? North to Alaska. That was a good uh, yeah. one, too. Yeah, and he, sad to say, he I think he died in auto wax, but he was a good at singer, too. He had a neat style, you know, there are a lot, some of those guys are, oh, you know, like, you got a talent, a thing different. Very, everybody has their particular style, when you oh, get sure. to a certain level in music, beginners don't. Uh -huh. But you 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 like Creative, this guy you yeah. like this guy you like this girl mm -hmm. you know and all their stuff and then you make your own yeah. package yeah. out of that kind of yeah. Let's see what sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs>
was that lyric? Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it right. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Because margaritas have the salt yeah, around the rim. Yeah. Really so they tell me. I don't know. So they tell me. Yeah, that's really I've true. seen them, yeah. I, yeah, but yeah. I just wasn't sure I heard that right. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Margaritaville. Somebody told me once, they said, do you know what I appreciate about your singing? Because I'm an okay vocal. I'm a much better guitar player than I am vocalist. But uh, somebody said, you know what I like about your vocals? I said, I can understand every word you say. Yeah. <laughs> At least I enunciate. Well, I understood it. I didn't know if yeah, I believed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, right, right. What's, what's, this, like, about what? a, what's yeah. this guy wants a shaker or a salt shaker for? Right, yeah. Well, you're not a drinker either, so you <laughs> no, don't know. No, I wouldn't know right. anything about that. Yeah, we, we teetotalers don't yeah. understand yeah, right. 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 Exactly. Finer points of social stigma. Yeah. yeah. Story about a man named Jay. Poor Mount Deer Bell kept his hand in bed. Then one day he was shooting at some birds, and up through the ground come a buffalo and turn the oil that is black gold, Texas tea. The first thing you know, old Jack's a millionaire. Big folks said, Get who go with him. They said, California is the place you want to be. So they loaded up the truck and they took him down the tree. Yeah, he'll say, the Beverly Hillbillies. Son of a, uh, 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 no wait, a bear. One of the folks. He was the son of Max Bear, a prize fighter. His dad was a heavyweight champion. The world one of the prize fighter. Oh, I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, Bear. No. Was that what was his name? Bear, the one. Who, he was the young man oh, that. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, yeah, I don't know that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. a long time ago. Probably. Oh, you're saying this me. actor was the son of that person? Yeah, oh, he okay. was the son of a prize fighter. Oh, yeah. which one was it? Uh, uh, bear. Was what was yeah, but, yeah, but no, in the show, who was he? Um, that young kid? His yeah, son. yeah, he was a young young man that... Uh, played a doofus? <laughs> yeah, he played a doofus, yeah. Oh, he, played Jethro Bodine. Jethro, yeah, he Max played Max Bayer, B-A-E-R. Yeah, right. he's the son of Max Bayer. The, and his dad yeah. was the price of, Oh, really? Yeah, I think he fought Joe Lewis, some of the... He's one in the big... Well, during, the, during the time, during yeah, the day. They, yeah, in yeah. the 30s. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Yeah, but, <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I pick up all this loose end stuff. I don't know. Yeah, Worthless yeah. 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 stuff. I can make, I can make <laughs> a tastor, tapestry or something, you know. <laughs> oh. Oh, let me play you one of <laughs> this. Is, I just like playing this because it's more acting than playing. Okay. And it's very upbeat. I don't even know who originally did it. And it's called Amos Moses. Saved him after a man of the 
cloth. Call to me Mrs. Moses again. <laughs> deciding to move to Colorado, but uh, it's so often, so often I do music and the lead parts, you know, the individual note things are all improv improvisational mostly. Okay. I'm just making it up as I go. But I don't do that with any song with words, oh. except this one. This okay. song I, I wrote about six months ago, and every time I do the words, it's different. <laughs> okay. It's never the same words, <laughs> okay. and it's the same concept and the same kinds of words, and you'll see what I mean by kinds of words. It's done with a, a very uh, heavy, hippie flair, if you will. Okay. My 
main man, he and I go way back. The dude never steered me wrong, honey. He is righteous. So I packed up all my stuff into my VW microbus. My old lady, a couple of cats, guitars, my bike. Settle down here, baby. I was no longer caught in my terrible bunk. I found a groove of scene in music and art. Lots of cool people. The grass is greener on the other side of the border. I think I'm gonna stay here. Progression. I think that's a very good, that's a good idea. idea. Yeah. I I where, where did it come from? Where did that person come, come from? from? Huh? Where did it come from? Stop to the from? listener. Okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, 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 it's, that's totally, it's totally up to yeah. the listener. Now, right. when you write that, you write the music or you just remember the, the chords? Uh, in this case, I wrote the music as a, just a warm up exercise. Okay. And, and I do that. I have little things that I write as exercises and they turn into songs. Just okay. like when I'm warming up and it's it's harder, more intricate, a lot of fun for me, but I love playing that. And going. <laughs> you don't get to do that very much, full chord slides like uh -huh, that. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. And then, it's just a fun, and it's, it's powerful. It's a very powerful guitar part. Yeah, that's nice. That's yeah, that's nice. neat.
find my way. That's in the wording. guy that they hadn't drawn and quartered. Uh, you remember that movie they made? Well, anyway. Oh, uh, Braveheart. Braveheart, yeah. Yes. He, he uh -huh. played the bad guy in that. And, he, and I saw him in another movie with uh, Billy Wilder where he played a bad guy. He always seemed to play bad guys. And then a Columbo he's movie a with a bad guy. guy. But he's an excellent actor. Yeah, yeah, you know what's amazing? When you see guys that play good guys and bad guys. Yeah. Sometimes they're good guys. And, it doesn't uh, feel right to me sometimes. Right, it it's depends. like, yeah. I know <laughs> yeah. you as a nice guy. What are you even doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. But McGowan was in real life, it's probably a real good, nice person, you know, it just, uh, he, it takes a good actor to be able to play these different parts, right, you know, I mean, to be a, you know, like, like he was, he was always, yeah, to be somebody you are totally yeah. not, yeah, I mean, you it's, really have to act, it's too bad that he didn't get to play, uh, you know, somebody who, uh, on the other side of the, well, <laughs> always he wasn't good at it. Maybe he wasn't collapsed. Yeah, but that or that or he didn't yeah. want to. Yeah. Well, he that's true. Take, yeah, take right. You know, some <laughs> some actors will only do comedy and not drama. Yeah. You know. Sure. Yeah. yeah, but he was good. You know, he just uh, <laughs> you know that, that's what he what he did. So he my my dear daughter-in-law <laughs> is starring at the Longmont Theater Company oh, in yeah. Stamilot. That's what you said. That's great. Yes. Last weekend she had three performances: Friday, Saturday, and Sunday matinee. Oh. Saturday evening, she, sorry, excuse me, Friday evening, she, co wakes, she comes home with almost no voice. Saturday oh. morning, she wakes up, and she can't even talk, and she's like, Is um, that a musical? Yes, yeah, okay. and she's the lead. Oh, for and goodness And they don't sake. have an understudy. Oh, my God. Right? It's, it's dumb, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a volunteer theater, so. Yeah. So, um, she went to the show Saturday night, and she said she made it through it. Except uh, a little of the last song, she had some high notes, uh -huh. so she just kind of squeaked them out. Uh -huh. And but she managed, she got her speaking lines out, and the next day it was almost as bad. Oh, Sunday that May, and she said she thought she made it through. And you got splinter horse about you can still talk in a high voice like that. <laughs> that's what she did for her dialogue. Oh my. Yep, what a pro. That's, though. A, yeah, no, that's I mean, a trooper. Yeah. Lead role in a heavy vocal. And she pulls it off without a voice. That's yeah. amazing. I'm very yeah. proud of this Did girl. Did you watch it? Like, I haven't seen it yet. No, I'm the babysitter. Oh, I see. Well, that's, yes. not, that's not bad either. Until Mother's Day, the 14th, which is a week from this Sunday. Right. Um, somebody else is watching the kids, and I'm going. Oh, good. Yes, me good. And, and 
a few of my friends, my musician friends. Yeah. That's my right. yeah. By that time, our voice will be back and they'll get full blow, right? And they'll have practice. <laughs> yeah. That was the other thing. I don't want to see the first couple of. <laughs> yeah, right. I want to see them when they're or eight they're or something. And um, <laughs> song. <laughs> in the song, in the theater. And uh, somebody said uh, to a friend, a mutual friend, they said, oh, are we going to be able to hear her above, you know, at the end of the movie, blah, blah, blah. And she says, you're going to be able to hear her in Brighton. <laughs> it's like, yes, she is a, she can really project in. Julie Andrews, very much oh, that yeah. oh, kind I of voice. Yes, yeah. that's how she, or um, as she sings Feed the Birds for Mary Poppins, and it just rips oh, yeah. my heart out every time. Who, your daughter-in-law? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I play it too. We, we do music together. Oh, that's we do a lot of music. That's nice. Oh gosh, <coughs> and that uh, sound of music where that Catholic sister sings uh, "Climb Every Mountain," you know, that's beautiful yes. voice that lady yes. had, man. Or Maria, you know, that's another. Maria, one. beautiful. Yeah, How do you solve the problem, like Maria? Yeah, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mother, yeah. my mother was uh, obsessed with that musical when I was a child. Oh, I see. Oh yeah. And she was a musician, so I heard the whole score oh, on the piano. The <laughs> around there. Well, and how they can okay. how they can yes, it is. why can can sustain a note? I mean, no, they got to hold on to that note for so long and hold it. And I mean, that now that now say Tom Dick and Harry can do that. I know you plan for it. That's uh, that's planning ahead. And yeah. what you do when you got this long note? Say you're going to go, you know, da 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 da, da and hold that note out. What you do is get a deep breath and you go. Da, 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 da. And the first notes before that, you just barely let those out because when you're doing the note and you want that da, and you want to put vibrato in it, that yeah. da, like that, that da, takes effort too. It takes more wind to do that. So you have to save and be conservative on the notes beforehand. Watch exactly where your breathing is happening yeah. and plan for that long what note. Yes. That's what neat. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's all thinking ahead, yeah. it's all well planned. Even the little things, like in Amos Moses, when I was doing the, you know, um, uh, Louisiana Law, gonna get you, Amos. Ha! Yeah. Like that ha is yeah. rehearsed. Yeah. Sometimes not, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I talk more like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let's do something fun. Something you guys know. We did this last time. All right. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Never remember if it's taking home country roads or country roads taking me home. 
Oh, I have no idea. Neither do I. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not to me. John Denver's dead, so <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter to him either. All right, we're about done. You want to say goodbye? Now it's time to say goodbye to Jen Mellow's Ian. I'm so glad we had this time together. Just to have a laugh or sing a song. Things will just keep going, and before you know it, comes our time we have to say so long. Good night, everybody. <laughs> That's Carol Burdett's show. That was her yes, favorite song. Oh, yeah, we watched that all the time. I loved her.